Hi, everybody. Uh, today we're going to do the three French hens, which is day three, obviously, of the 12 days of Christmas. And we're going to start like we did the last two. We're going to make a round white background. There you go. And remember, don't make it too thin. And we're going to do the two hearts. And it's going to be all white with just some blush. And as always, if you want to do it in color, do it in color. So let's get started and we'll cut out our round. Looks like a cookie. See how nice and thick it is? And sometimes I tell you not to make them too thick, but on this, I kind of like it thick because the hook is going to go into that part and you want it to be thick enough to take the hook. And I noticed that I have not cut the hook, so let's pretend that we have, or maybe I will later on. And this, this video was made a few years ago and I am doing the narration on June 1st. I had kind of a rough weekend, I wasn't feeling well. But that happens sometimes when I overdo it and I I was standing too long and my blood pressure dropped way down. So I'm recovering, but I'm pretty much recovered. So we're going to make a little bit of an indentation on the round so that we can fit the heart there. I don't know why I did it at that angle, but there it is. And I'm assuming at this point that there are no new people watching the 12 days of Christmas because why would you start with number three? You would start, I would assume, with number one. So the hearts are where we will be putting our numbers. One of the members of our Polymer Clay Facebook group, the Simply Ornaments Polymer Clay Facebook group, made um, one and two, and she did a really nice job doing the numbers. And I still haven't put the numbers on. Whoever came up with this 12 Days of Christmas must have really liked birds. These are our three French hens. And we do the birds pretty much the same way with a few little variations. And if you're not sure how to do this, just practice it. And if you think back to the uh, partridge in a pear tree and the two calling birds, the bodies pretty much started the same way. I'm wondering if I should move the microphone a little closer to me. Well, the microphone is in the laptop. I don't have a separate microphone. I am not tech savvy and I don't know how to do that. So we have to make do with what we have. Now all our birds will be shaped the same way. So tomorrow I go to the eye doctor and I hope she does not tell me that I am ready for a cornea transplant. I had to explain that to my brother today, exactly what a cornea transplant is. 
he thought I could get different color eyes and have it done with the LASIK surgery. I said, no, that's totally different. If only it was that simple. I remember when I did this, I did research French hens. They're basically chickens. So they look like chickens. I have not tried my camera yet on my phone. I I don't know what's holding me back. I think because I wasn't feeling well this weekend. I'll just tell you what I did that was really stupid. <laughs> I don't know if I should tell you or not. But anyway, as you're doing your hens, I will tell you, our neighbor's wife had gone to visit her family in Myrtle Beach. And she was going to be gone for a week. And he wanted to clean the house before she got back. And he's in a wheelchair. He's paralyzed from the chest down like my cousin was. And he asked if I would mind helping him. And I said, no, no problem. I can do it. Well, he's got a 2,500 square foot house. No carpeting. And I vacuumed and mopped the entire house. Yikes. It took me three and a half hours. And the thing I did wrong was that I did not sit down and rest. I just did it. As you can see here, I'm texturing. He has a beautiful house. And they have two cute little kids. And I didn't feel too bad while I was standing and doing the work. But when I got home, I just plopped into my bed and thought I was going to die. And my blood pressure had gone down to 88 over 43. Now here I'm using toothpicks put together, as you see here, to just make little dots, make little texture dots all over them. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. But I did look up what the uh, French hens look like and they kind of have this kind of texturing on them. And he did pay me for cleaning. I didn't want to take any money, but he insisted. So I said, sure, why not? And, uh, he just asked my brother today if I might want to do it every week. And I'm like, no, I would die. <laughs> and that's the little disease I have called orthostatic hypotension, which is when I stand up, my blood pressure drops. And if I stand for a long time, I can just faint away and hit the floor. And luckily I didn't. But the one thing he had that I really liked was he had the, um, he didn't have the vacuum cleaner you roll around. He had, oh gosh, I can't think what it's called now. You know, the one you plug into the wall and you have the long hose and you vacuum. That was very nice. I'm going to do all these hens the same way. The one thing he had that I liked when you pulled up into his driveway, now he is way back in the woods, further back than I am. When you drive up his driveway, he has a big rock there. It's in the shape of a face, 
And with smaller rocks, they actually put a face on that rock. It, it's really cool looking. I'll have to get a picture of it and show it to you guys one day. I want to make something like that for my driveway. Now we're going to make the wing. And that's just a teardrop shape. And yesterday in my front yard, I had a deer. It was a doe and she was eating. And she saw me and she kept looking up at me, but she kept eating and then she'd look up at me. And I, I tried not to move. I was very good. And then she just walked away into the woods. We have quite a few deer here and turkeys. and Oh, and I also saw a rabbit the other day. That was nice. My brother saw a bobcat. Now those are big. You don't want to run into one of those. All right, now we're going to roll out a long white rope. And we're going to double it up and twist it. Oh, and I don't know if I told you, but we did get the septic system fixed at my other brother's house. So as soon as all the fumes and the smell and everything is out of there, I might be moving back down there. I might. We'll see how it goes. I'm going down there in a few days to pick him up from dialysis. Now we're just going to put this around. And make sure you press it on. You don't want that coming off. I don't know. I feel like my voice is sounding weird. I don't know. Going to put our hook in. Now I was saying about the birds, I think the next one is going to be four calling birds, and then at some point we're going to have geese a laying, swans a swimming. I think that might be all the birds, I'm not sure. And I, I just want to acknowledge that I do know what's going on in the country with the protests. And I totally understand the protests. I don't understand why they have to be violent. All they're doing is destroying the property of innocent people. And I, I don't like that. I don't mind protesting. Because what happened was horrible. And I, I don't like to get political on my videos or anything, but I'm just appalled that something like that happened and continues to happen. All right, now we're making the little, uh, what do you call those things on the top of their heads? I don't know. 
guess I should do better research, but let's just go ahead and put those up there. They're kind of like the roosters have, but like I said, I did look up the French hens and they do have these. Do all chickens have those? I guess they do. Oh my gosh. And I do want to point out that the white clay that I am using is not the original Sculpey white clay. I don't use that because it is not strong and it crumbles. So don't ever use that. Not to make your ornaments at least. So I'm hoping that by next week I can get my video station set up. I'm still working on that. And I'd like to do, since it is the summer, I would like to do another plant stick and make the ladybug. Now we did the bee and I'd like to do the ladybug. I think that would be fun. She's kind of cute. And I'm going to tell you ahead of time, we're going to do her antennas and we're going to need a little bit of wire for that. And um, you don't want too thin wire, but you don't want real thick wire either. So if you're going to get the wire... That's just a little heads up. Now, did you ever think about the song, Partridge in a Pear Tree? Is it just the partridge in the pear tree? I guess it is. Or are the French hens and, and the turtle doves in the pear tree also? And the calling birds? I'm thinking it's just the partridge that's in the pear tree. And I'm just doing some squiggles on their necks. And I'm just going to make the little hole for the eyes. Almost done. Now 
I'm putting on the holly leaves. And, and that's why I was wondering about the partridge in the pear tree. I was wondering if I should have put pears on here. But then I'm thinking, no, I think it's just the partridge that's in the pear tree. We'll go with that. And of course, you don't have to texture the leaves. You can leave them. I think we have to put the one little berry on and we are done and we are going to blush before we bake with a light touch. Wow, well that cheek wasn't too light, was it? That's why sometimes when you get the blush, you have to knock a little bit off of it. We are almost done. I'm going to put a little shine on it, which you don't need to do this, by the way. I don't know why I did it, but you don't need to do it. Put the Pearl X powder, and that's silver. I'm going to put a little bit very sparingly, just a little bit. After all, they are French hens, and they have to have a little bling. I wonder where that word bling came from. I don't know if I like it. Oh, and for all you ladies out there, check out the makeover guy on YouTube. He does amazing things. It's called the makeover guy. That's the name of his channel. He has a magic touch. <laughs> That's all I'll tell you. And we are done. Now into the oven to bake. And of course, bake according to the directions on your package of clay. And that is our third day of Christmas in our series of the 12 days of Christmas. Now, I'm looking at the beaks, and I think the beaks look like they're almost a gray color. So I don't know what I did there. But that is it, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. And next time we will be doing, I believe it's the four calling birds. 
and I will see you next time. Bye.